Hello everybody. Welcome back to the Emma's Activities with Friends. How you all doing? As a reminder, um, don't forget to wash your hands with soap and water, keep your mask on, and keep the social distance, okay? Today, we're going to read a book, and the book called The Legend of Kobe Bryant. Yeah, who are the uh, Lakers fan? I, I, saw, I saw a lot of you are Lakers fans, so I decided to read you this book. This book was given to me by, uh, to me by my daughter, because she knows I, I'm a fan of Lakers, and I love Kobe. Rest in peace, Kobe. Um, so, and I'm wearing his number. You see? Yep. You love the Lakers? I do, and I miss Kobe. So we are going to learn about him, because, you know, we, we just call out Kobe, go Kobe, and we don't know the rest of, of him. So he's a really good guy, the best. He's the best, I, I say. So let's start the introduction, okay? Kobe Bryant was more than a basketball player. Yes. Sure, he will forever be remembered as one of the game's greatest superstars. One who burst onto the scene straight out of high school. Did you know that? They picked him straight out of high school, not from college, from high school. Wow remains fourth of the NBA's all-time scoring list. Won five championships and spent his entire 20-year career with the, with the Los Angeles Lakers. But Kobe was also so much more. Wow. It's good to know, huh? The man known as the Black Mamba. Yes, the Black Mamba, Rest in love, left his mark on the game as a fierce competitor, competitor who lifted those around him and never settled for anything less than the best. He spoke several languages. Wow. So that means more than three, four languages. He spoke several languages, was passionate about promoting youth sports and raising his four daughters and even won an Academy Award. Can you believe it? He's awesome, right? I know you love Kobe. You love the Lakers. Yes. The following pages, okay, we're gonna go look for incre Kobe's incredible life in the, the rest of the book and his career, and his earliest days playing game he loved to his unforgettable 60 point final game. Did you know that? He got 60 points in his final game before he retired. Isn't he amazing? And his desire to share basketball with everyone. That's the best thing. He just, you know, loved the youth, everybody. To, learn, to know how to play basketball. Okay, that's him. That's Kobe number 24. I remember. Yep, number 24. And he quote, if you don't believe in yourself, no one will do it for you. That's right. Don't believe you in you, only you. The legend begins. Did you know Kobe's, uh, do you guys know Kobe's um, middle name? You're gonna find out. Kobe Bean Bryant was born on August 23, 1978 in Philadelphia. Now you know his middle name. His middle name is Bean, B-E-A-N. That's interesting, huh? Kobe Bean Bryant. 
His parents, Joe and Pam Bryant, already had two daughters when they welcomed their son into the family. And he's the only son. He had two sisters, and he's the only boy. Joe was an accomplished basketball player. That's his dad, Kobe's dad, Joe, was an accomplished basketball player. So it wasn't a shock to anyone when Kobe started playing the game himself when he was just three years old. Wow, three years old and he started to play basketball. You know what? Yep, because his dad was a professional basketball player. Naturally, his favorite team was the, guess who? The Lakers, yay! Yeah, his favorite team was the Lakers. And he ended up playing the Lakers, right? That's awesome. When Kobe was six, the family picked up and moved to Italy so Joe, that Joe, you know, Kobe's dad, could continue to, to play basketball professionally. So Kobe and his family, parents and sisters, moved to Italy. So Kobe's friend and teammate, Davide Gigi, that's an Italian's name, Davide Gigi, told NBC News, when he moved to Reggio Emilia and started playing on my team, it was immediately clear he was from another planet, a cut above us all. Wow. Yes. Wow. That was one of his uh, teammates told the NBC News about Kobe. And it's true, right? When he often told us that one day he would become a professional NBA player, we would make fun of him. His friends make fun of him. But he worked hard for it when, even back then. At the end of our training, the rest of us would just go watch TV or do an, other things. Kobe instead would go home and keep training with the basket his father put up for him in his garden. Wow. He didn't care what they do after school. He didn't even want to sit down and watch TV. He went home and practiced and practiced and practiced basketball. And that made him so perfect, right? Yeah, that's him. Okay, what's in the name? Now we can learn about Kobe's name. Kobe Bean Bryant, not exactly an ordinary name, is it? Yeah. Then again, there wasn't anything ordinary about the man who is in fourth place on the NBA's all-time career scoring list. It's awesome. Kobe's parents, Joe and Pam Bryant, also had two girls, Shariah and Shia. So, how did they settle on naming their only son, Kobe Bean? How? According to NBA.com, the Bryants chose Kobe after seeing a Kobe, Kobe beef listed on a restaurant menu prior to his birth. So they, there was a restaurant with a menu. And the menu, there was Kobe beef. Maybe they love that beef called Kobe beef, so that's how they named it. His middle name is derived from his father's nickname, Jelly Bean. That was his dad's middle name, I mean nickname, when he was playing basketball in high school. Yes, uh -huh. in high school, Joe's teammates marveled at his sweet and various moves he recalls hearing. It must be jelly bean jam. Don't shake like that. Oh yeah, one one of the guys. It says, it said it must be jelly because jam don't shake like that. That's how they came out with the Kobe's dad's nickname. A quote from Glenn Miller song. Oh okay. 
Joe was indeed a great player and was selected in the first round of the NBA draft in 1975. Kobe's dad was playing the NBA. He was chosen in 1975. Seems he may have passed down more than a name to his son. To his son. Of course, his name and his talent. Well, to his son, Kobe Bryant. That's his picture from high school. That's his high school. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Kobe Cody. I create my own path. It was straight and narrow. I looked at it. I looked at it this way. You were either in my way or out of it. Love that. So it good or not. Now let's talk about Jelly Bean. Kobe would grow up to become one of the greatest basketball player of all time. But his father, Joe Jelly Bean Bryant, was a very talented player in his own right. Joe was a star forward to La Salle University and was drafted number 14 overall by the Golden State Warriors. He was drafted Golden State Warriors, one of the California team, right? Then traded to his hometown Philadelphia 76ers. Then his dad traded to their hometown Philadelphia, their team 76ers. He also played for the Clippers. He played for the Clippers and Rockets during his NBA career before moving to Italy, a small town in Italy. So he was playing basketball. Kobe's parents, uh, dad was playing basketball in NBA and then he moved back to his hometown in Italy where his family are. He later joined the team in Reggio Calabria, then in Pistoia, this is in Italy, and ended his career in Reggio Emilia where he was a two-time player of the year. That's where he got that from, his dad. That's amazing. After his playing career was over, Joe, Kobe's dad, coached in Europe Asia and the United States. He, his dad was a coach in Europe, Asia, and also in the United States, including as the head coach of the and of the WNBA Los Angeles Sparks. You know the women basketball? Yeah, the professional Sparks, Los Angeles Sparks. He was a head coach there. But his greatest contribution to basketball is likely still racing his son, Kobe. Yes. Probably Italiano Kobe, after eight seasons in the NBA, Kobe's dad, Joe Bryan, moved his, moved his family to Italy to continue his playing, his playing career. Kobe was six at the time, and the Bryans lived there for many years before returning to Philadelphia when Kobe was 13. Okay, during his years in Europe, Kobe learned to speak fluent Italian. Italy will always be close to Kobe's heart, he said. Speaking of the time Reggio Media, Kobe told Basket Basketball Time magazine, I grew up here. I used to ride my bike here. There were all my friends, and I have many memories. It's special. Let's stop right here, okay, because my time is over. And uh, let me display you some part of the Lakers stuff. They will, this will look, uh, sound familiar to you when you hear, when the Lakers come in. Yay. Okay, yes. And that's our reading for today. If you want to continue next time, I will do it again. And Till I meet you next time, have a good day and be safe. Okay, thank you.